God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the ocean. White with foam, God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home sweet home. We are to size. We measured this thing up last night before we quit. And we were happy with it. So we're gonna break loose. I'm gonna pull the top off of here. If we can pull the top off without lifting the whole thing up. It is lighter in two pieces. <laughs> it's probably lighter now that we bored it out too. I see a couple little piles of Babbitt in there. It might have a little bit of weight to them. We still got to drill our grease ports on the top half. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get our two uh, pin bolts here with the straps and the overhead uh, so that it's got lifting pressure as we tap it. All right, that side uh, popped kind of easy. Okay, where's my... Screwdrivers here. There's the inside. Looks pretty sweet. Uh, this was on the upswing. This is on the downswing. Nice and crispy over here. A little jagged there. We'll just trim that up with our scissors and that should be pretty good. Let's lift the lower half off of here and we'll go get the, uh, the second one. All right, we called our customer and he's going to be coming picking up these uh, later on today. We finished deburring the leading edge and the split line. We drilled the uh, lubrication holes in the upper halves. 
and we marked off our our gasket shims that we use to machine these two and this project is ready to rock and roll this has been a real fun project and also enjoyed using my new oven we got many more projects that we're going to be playing with I can't wait to start uh, working with investment castings so we're going to be melting out wax and uh, other materials that we have for printing uh, shapes and then casting them right here in the shop um, so I'm, I'm really really uh, excited about that everything worked fine it really made a big difference on pouring Babbitt to have the housing at the optimum temperature for the pour it's incredibly it's night and day it really is you can do a lot with the torch and I have in the past but this is a large this is a large project here and a large pour that pot that I have is every bit to pour that first red bearing uh, because of how much material was needed to really get this one to pour um, and once I got that one there, I knew the project was going to continue on a, a good path. And it has. It's been great. And using our lathe for a horizontal boring machine is <laughs> a second to none. Actually, you know, to, to be able to machine with your lathe without having a compound or using your cross slide or your carriage, you know, I mean, you're using your carriage, but you're not using your cross side or your compound or the tracer attachment. It's uh, just simple as can be. All right, thanks for joining me here, Job Shop USA.